So now we'll look at using sin, cos, or tan. And in this case, we're actually using it to find a side. And we'll notice that we've been given angles in this case. So we'll use sin, cos, or tan. And a useful phrase for us to remember is so, ka, toa. And that comes down to how these things actually work, that sin is a ratio of the opposite and hypotenuse sides. Cos will be the adjacent and the hypotenuse, and tangent will use the opposite and the adjacent sides. So one thing that we need to do is identify the two sides that are important, the one you want and the one you have. So ignore the side that doesn't matter, but let's label what is actually important to us. So looking at what we've got, the 10 here is opposite of the right angle, so I know that this is my hypotenuse. And the x is opposite of the 67, the angle that's been given to me, so I know that that's my opposite. So I have an O and an H, and if I come and pay attention, it is SOH, meaning sign, that I'm going to use. So I draw out my little formula triangle as S, O, and H. And this will help me make sure I plug it into my calculator correctly, that I get the ratio written correctly. So, taking a look, the next step for me is going to be covering up the thing that I want to look for, the one I'm actually trying to find, and in this case it is the opposite side. So I can cover up with my finger or cross it out, the opposite at the top of the, rati top of the ratio triangle here. Now what happens is that we can use this formula to decide what to do, and if we see that we're at the bottom here, we're going to times straight across. So we times across the bottom. And what needs to happen is I need to feed the sin an angle. So that's telling me it's going to be sin of the angle, which is 67. And I need to times that by the hypotenuse, which is 10. So x, then, is equal to sin 67 times the hypotenuse of 10, which gives me 9.2. And in this case, I don't know what the units are, so it's just 9.2. Let's take a look at another example. So again, labeling the side that is actually important to me, and the one that I am looking for. So I notice the 15 here is between the right angle and the angle that's been given to me. This tells me that it's going to be the adjacent. It's touching both of the angles that are important. And if I look, the x is on the opposite side of the triangle, so it's the opposite side. So here I've got TOA, T-O-A, meaning I'm going to use tangent. So let's take a look. Which one am I looking for? Again, in this case, I'm looking for the opposite, so I cover it up, cross it out. And if I'm at the bottom of the formula triangle here, I will times, so I'm going to times across. And that T really means I need to have tangent, tan, of 40, I give it the angle, times the adjacent, which is 15. So the x is equal to tan of 40 times 15. And this happens to be 12.6. So one more example to look at here. Let's identify the two sides that are important. I see the 8 is actually touching the 55 and the right angle. It's between those two, so it's the adjacent. And then I notice the x is actually opposite of the right angle, so this is going to be my hypotenuse. So in this case, I'm going to use ka because I have the c and the h into my formula. So c and h, I know that I'll use the ka because it has the, sorry, the a and h because I know it has the a and h with the ka for the cosine cover up the one that I'm looking for, and in this case I'm looking for the hypotenuse. Now if you cover up the bottom corner of the triangle, instead of timesing across, we're actually looking at dividing down. And this is just like writing a fraction, so I want you to think about writing the fraction A over C. And that's actually going to be the length of the adjacent, which is 8, over cosine, and cosine you have to feed it an angle, you have to give it the angle, so cosine of 55. So this is what our x is going to be equal to. 8 divided by cosine of 55. So x is equal to all of this, and that happens to be 13.9. So, 
When you're solving these problems, only label the two sides that are important to you. And look at the letters that you've been given. O and H, you're going to use so. A and H, you'd use cosine. And O and A, you're going to use toa for tangent. And inside of the formula triangles, you write it up. You get times across on the bottoms. And you can divide if you're looking for the one where you've left with a top and a bottom here. And again, the order here is very important. So it's not going to be C divided by A. It'll be the top one on top of the fraction and the bottom one on the bottom of the fraction. Once you've got that figured out, you plug it straight into your calculator and you'll get the length of the sides.